How do you make the reader interested in reading your opinion or persuasive essay? In this lesson, you will learn how to pull in the reader by writing a strong opening and thesis. Okay, let's review. A strong opening combines a hook with a thesis statement and should make the reader curious. And of course, the parts of an essay are the opening, followed by the body, and the conclusion wraps up our essay. And right now I'm focusing on the opening, which includes the hook and thesis. Let's also review where we are in the writing process. The writing process has three steps. Generate ideas, write drafts, and revise and edit. And right now I'm on step two, write drafts. Okay, a common mistake. Sometimes we don't do a very good job making the reader curious before sharing the thesis. So we want the reader to wonder, what will he say next? Or I wonder why he said that. If we can make the reader curious, then we can be sure that the reader will continue to read our essay and we will make our point. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to list a few possible openings for my essay. Then I'm going to choose the opening that makes the reader ask a question. And finally, I'm going to follow the reader's question by writing a thesis statement. Okay, let's get started. So first I want to list a few possible openings for my essay. So I could start with, have you ever visited a zoo? Or in the future, a zoo might be the only place to see animals. And finally, some animals are endangered and need our help. Okay, these are three possible openings for my persuasive essay about animals in zoos. So now I need to choose the opening that makes the reader ask a question. So I'm going to look at each one individually. And I want my opening to really hook the reader, to make the reader curious. And then, of course, I'm going to follow that hook with my thesis statement, which is my opinion that I am going to defend. And I really want the reader to wonder when they're reading my essay. OK, here are my openings again. And I'm going to take each one one at a time. Have you ever visited a zoo? Well, does this make me ask a why question? Well, it is a question itself. And I can answer it by saying, yes, I have visited a zoo, or no, I haven't visited a zoo. So this is not the type of question I'm looking for. It doesn't make me say, why? So I'm going to go ahead and say, no, it doesn't. OK, let's take a look at the next opening. In the future, a zoo might be the only place to see animals. Well, when I read that, I wonder, why would a zoo be the only place to see animals? So in this case, this opening makes me wonder, and it makes me ask a why question. So I'm going to say that that does the trick. And then, when I look at my third opening, some animals are endangered and need our help. Well. I think most people know that there are many animals that are endangered, and I think people already know that they need our help. So I don't think that this is going to make the reader wonder very much. I don't think it's going to make the reader ask a why question. Okay, so now I'm ready to follow the reader's question with my thesis statement. So I've decided that I want to use the opening, in the future, a zoo might be the only place to see animals. And I've already said that the reader will wonder, well, why won't I be able to see animals anywhere else? So I want to answer that question with my thesis statement, which is, because zoos are important in many ways, some animals must be kept in captivity. OK, so here's my revised opening. In the future, a zoo might be the only place to see animals. 
because zoos are important in many ways, some animals must be kept in captivity. So here's what I've done. First I listed a few possible openings. Next, I chose the opening that made the reader ask a question. And finally, I followed the reader's question by writing my thesis statement. In this lesson, you have learned how to pull in the reader by writing a strong opening and thesis.